So this is the Acer Aspire 5. It features an i5-8250U ultra low power quad core 8 threaded processor as well as a GeForce MX150. So no, it's not a gaming powerhouse. It wasn't meant to be. Didn't buy it for that purpose. Does what it does great. If you'd like to see more on that, just let us know. But what we're here to talk about today is this. This is the Predator Helios 500 from Acer. Now what really sets this apart from most other laptops these days is this one gives you some real choice flexibility, something that we really haven't seen a lot. Sure, we get a lot of configurations, whether it's the same CPU and maybe two different kinds of GPUs, but different configurations of RAM and storage. But this one actually allows you to configure CPU choices. So do you want Intel or do you want AMD? That's a good, interesting point to look at. You have the Core i9-8950HK, which is an overclockable 6-core 12-thread CPU from Intel. Great performance, great CPU. On the other hand, you have the Ryzen 7 2700, 8 cores, 16 threads, we know it's unlocked, and looking at the back end of this, this laptop, you can see that there's plenty of cooling to keep either one of them tame. Really, really nice to see that. But what about the GPU front? Well, you've got options there too. And it's not just the difference between a 1060 and a 1070. You actually have the option up to a GTX 1070 paired with 144 Hertz IPS G-Sync display, which is great and a great option to have. But you also have the option for an AMD Radeon Vega 56 paired with a 144 Hertz IPS FreeSync panel. So it's really cool to see that, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time we're actually seeing the Radeon Vega 56 in a laptop, which is great, seeing as how crazy expensive they are on the desktop, but that's a whole different story. But it is good to see some real options here. So you've got two different CPUs from two different vendors, two different GPUs from two different vendors, Really neat to see this. I'm excited. like to hear what you guys think about this. I'm a little bit of a mixed bag. While one hand, I am excited to see some real options here. The other hand is it makes it really hard for consumers to find a review of the particular configuration that they're looking for. So like with the Razer Blade 2018, which we've already discussed, you have very limited options, which makes it a little easier to make a buying decision. But with something like the Predator Helios 500, you're going to have to do a little bit more research. So this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we hope to catch you in the next video.